In this video I'm going to show you how we set up Family Browser for the end user um, using the Family Browser Builder. Now there's two ways to get into the Family Browser Builder. And the first way is to right mouse click on any tab and go to Family Browser Builder and it'll bring up the dialog or um, drag and drop a file or a directory onto the Family Browser palette. Now, um, I'll just show you that. Now, I'm going to add a library out of just the out of the box um, Autodesk Revit libraries. Um, so I'm going to navigate to that location. I'm just going to drill down in here, and we've got a whole lot of folders and and um, there'd be a heap of families and stuff in here, and then a whole lot of subdirectories. Um, some of them are quite quite deep. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag the folder New Zealand over onto the palette and it's brought up the Family Browser Builder and we can expand and, and do all the things that you would normally be able to do. Um, just to show you the other way of doing that if I close out of Family Browser Builder right mouse click go to Family Browser Builder and go back to Explorer and just drag and drop over this pane here. That will do exactly the same. So now I have all these um, all these folders, subdirectories and files available to build up my library. Um, so you could do folder at a time but if you just pull in the root folder off your library it just makes it a lot, lot easier. So to show you how to do it, um, I'm just going to drag the top folder over. Now I could drag any of these folders over, but I just want to show you how this works. So depending on how many folders, subfolders and, and family files you've got, this can take a little while because it has to go through, grab all the icons, find all the files, grab all the icons for those families and then populate this tree view here. So we'll just wait a little while. It doesn't doesn't take too long, but it does take a 10, 20 seconds to do this. And there we go. So now if I expand this, we'll notice that we've got an existing library up here, the Family Browser Demo Library. The first level being the folder name for New Zealand is now called a library. If I expand it, we've then got a group under the library. So it goes library group, and then under that will be by default a life tab and then under that subfolders and then under that families or more subfolders. So that's the default way Family Browser organises things. So you'll have a library, one group, live tab which can contain families or subfolders and then subfolders and subfolders. You'll notice that they're all checked, um, which means when I go next, it's going to process all the checked items. So it's not going to process any of the, any changes in here if I were to make a change. If I was to make a change and change this to just Family Browser Test, for that to process, I would have to check that. Okay, I'm not going to process that. So I'm just going to accept all this and we'll see what happens. So we go next and Family Browser goes and uploads all that information and data to the server database and once again depending on how many um, files there are depend how long this takes but once again 30 seconds at the max maybe so there we go that wasn't too long so it created one library six groups 45 tabs 301 subfolders and it added 2400 families to the database so that didn't take too long. Right now we'll go and see what that has actually done. So we've now got a a library called New Zealand and it's got some groups and under that will be tabs. So if I go to components we've now got all these tabs and all the families now available for you to use. Um, so you could just leave it at that. So once again, a drag and drop into the family browser off your root folder, drag it over to um, the builder pane and press next and you're ready. 2,400 families now available for you to um, insert. Now you'll notice um, if I go to say doors and windows, 
um, we've got three subfolders so if I double click or expand that that'll bring the um, door all the families from within that folder and likewise this one's actually got a, a sub subfolder so um, and same with the windows now ideally I wouldn't want doors and windows a tab and then no families and just having subfolders I actually want a separate tab for doors and a separate tab for windows and a separate tab for openings so we can do that if we right mouse click and go family browser builder we're going to expand what is currently there and we've got doors and windows and there goes the subfolder so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this under the components group and I'll drag, we'll just do two drag that under the components group and we'll notice down here we've now got a live tab for the doors and a live tab for the windows and roof lights that looks good press next to process that and there we go we've got doors as a tab and windows as a tab okay that's cool ideally I'd want them up here and I'd want to remove that so once again we can go to family browser builder go to components doors and windows I'm going to remove that one and this one I'm just going to move move the tab up until it's in the right place That's right. and we'll move this one up Okay, next and finish and there we go we've got doors and windows so once all the data is in there um, it's just a matter of organizing it the way you would like it um, every every practice will have different ideas on how that might be um, in this case I've got a library within just um, separate groups you can actually have subgroups of groups um, so you can have many levels of subgroups likewise in the um, subfolders you can have many subfolders under subfolders I'm just trying to find one there's none here general might know um, but yes you can have many levels of groups and many levels of subfolders if I just go back to family browser builder um, so remembering that if you want to make any changes like if I was to rename this to a 2019 library for that to process I would have to select that and then go next and that will have changed it 2019 next I will add so that's RFA families next I'll add um, system families and drafting views so once again that's a very similar process you need to go and find a RVT project file which is a container file for all of your families. Now you can have many container files, um, the smaller the better, but I've got one here called Wall Repository. Um, it's just under a megabyte. What I'm going to do is just drag that in and it brings up the Family Browser Builder. And this time it brings up all the um, information that we can gather out of a Revit project file. So I'm wanting system families and I'm wanting walls because I know this has got walls that I'm wanting in here. Okay, so I'm just going to expand the um, New Zealand library. I'm going to create a new group called system families. And then I'm just going to drag the walls over to there and it's going to process all those walls. Um, I will, I think I'm pretty sure this has got some floors in it, no, one floor, but we'll put that in there as well. You'll notice that these are um, created as standard tabs, there's no um, link to a file path on, the, on your file system, um, and we'll just put one more in, just two roofs, I think, a couple of roofs. And likewise you can do that with um, schedules and legends. Um, actually we will put a 
a tab, a schedule saver, and if you've got any drafting views, the same as well. So I'm just going to press next on that, and we'll see what happens. It added those. Now if I go to system families, we've got tabs of walls, floors, roofs, and schedules. And now they're ready to drag and drop in. So if I was to drag and drop one of these in, can't remember what type of view I'm in the floor plan. Yeah, the title sheet. Okay, so I can't um I can't obviously place on the title sheet on the sheet, so it's um just giving me a warning, but that has loaded that that wall style in and now ready to place. So that's the Family Browser Builder, that's how easy it is to create your Revit library and get it up and running for your users. Um, drag in a folder to this side, um, drag it over to the Family Browser layout, modify around the layout, press next and voila, it's done. Thanks for watching.